Hey, this is Jake with MacHeads 101. It's going to be another Java tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about two more different kinds of methods. I talked about abstract methods in the last tutorial. And uh, this is going to be relatively brief. But I'm going to talk about static and final methods. I already talked about static and final variables. So, if you remember, a final variable could not be reassigned. And a final method cannot be overwritten. That's final. This is the method. You can't override it. So to do that, you would just put final before it, like final public void um, print no parameters and right, and that method could not be overwritten. And I'm not going to go through a whole, um, you know, making um, a super class and this and that to prove it, but just it can't be overwritten. The next one I'm going to talking about is a static method. So let's say I had a method in this class. This is going to be an example of it. Just in this main class, and I had like, and it was outside the main method. Public void uh, print. And I tried to call print. I'm getting an error here because I need an object to call the method. So. I could do this. Mac heads m equals new Mac heads, and I would be creating an object of this class, the Mac heads type, and then do m dot print. Or I can do something much simpler, which is make it static. So public static void and public static it means I do not need an object to call this method so if I just print it out hello and that's why it makes a lot of sense that this is static but public static void print this public static void main and then I can just do print no errors because it's static and I believe you can also Put static before public doesn't matter but yeah so I'll just do public static but you can put it before so public static void print and I don't need an object to call this method because static methods don't need objects um, to be called and there it goes it prints hello so um I just want to talk about what's coming up next so in the next couple of tutorials or yeah I'm going to be talking about GUI uh, graphical user interface like you know windows and um, buttons and graphics and stuff like that and I didn't cover all of the Java basics but I covered a, a lot of them and what you'll need um, to know to start making GUI because the only reason I actually started making these um, tutorials on the basics was so that I could eventually start making Java GUI tutorials. So the next tutorial is going to be the first GUI tutorial and I'm just going to be talking about creating a window and a few different ways to do that. So see you next time.